what I'm saying is that for you to look for what you're looking for, the kind of men that you're looking for, it's not going to happen. I'm telling you that. The kind of men that you want, the kind of man that you want, is and, and if you're hoping to find that, you are picking at straws. And, and you're clutching at very, very small straws for what you want. You might have to adjust or, or reshape what it is you're looking for. Or if you're willing to wait for that, however long it may take, then you do you. I'm not saying it's not out there. I'm just saying for what you want and what you're looking for and what you find attractive, how do you expect that to be a reality? A so man- you're basically saying I have to go for old, ugly guys. I'm not saying you have to go for old, ugly guys. I'm saying I'm saying go for what you want, but just understand what comes with that. Let me let me say let me put it to you like this, yeah. If I want, I have dated super, 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 super pretty women, like proper head turning, whatever. I understand that at some point it's probably going to end because they that pretty pretty girl syndrome is going to kick in, and I don't I'm, I don't tolerate that. I'm I'm not into that. You show me that. You show me that side of you, then I will walk away and I won't look back. I have no problem doing that. But I understand that what comes with that territory. I understand it. And I understand that I will be a very, very lucky man to find a woman who knows that she's gorgeous and knows that she gets attention and is young and blah, blah, and is completely just not trying to explore that, not trying to get flown out, to flow, flew out to, to, to Dubai and not trying to go VIP when Drake's in town and blah, blah, blah. I, I would be lucky. But, I, but, but at the same time, I understand that I could wait there and look for that. But I would probably be waiting a long time. Or I'll probably be disappointed a lot of the time. So what I'm saying, for what you're trying to find, a man who is, you know, looks a certain way, has a lot going about and blah, 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 but is willing to wait till marriage or wait until, like, get in a relationship. You might be not ready to have sex for six months. You think a man with the standards that you're looking for is going to wait that long. I'm telling you, he's not going to. And, that, and that's fine. If your morals and values dictate that you don't want to sleep with a man before a certain amount of time or, you know, you, you, he has to be ready for you to just be uncomfortable and get out of bed. Yeah. If you're, if you're, if you're. It wasn't like that. No, but I'm just saying, no, but I'm, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, you, you have to understand what it is that you're looking for and what it means. So, like, you so can't... you're saying that no man would wait for me to be like, I'm not oh, let's saying no man. I'm, no, let's again, this, listen to what I'm let's saying. Let's do that. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying no man will, will. I'm not saying that. It's not fair for me to say. I'm saying that the man that you're looking for, for all of those things is out there, but you might be waiting a very, very long time. And you're, and at the time it takes that you're getting, you're, you're getting older. No, you're not old, but you're getting older. Mm. So as you get older, that pool, naturally, for you, is just going to shorten and sh- shorten and shorten. And it will get to a point where you will be accepting things that you didn't think you will be accepting at this point in your life. You're 26. 20, you're 20, you're 20, yeah, you're 26. You're 26. So it's, it's fine now. You can be this way. But when you get to 30, it's going to be different. And when you get to 35, it's going to be even more different. And then when you get to 39, and then you get to 40... God forbid. No, but 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 God that's forbid. but that's like you you want a very specific type of thing. And but but and that's fine. When you say that, you mean in terms of sex? No, it's just everything. Oh, it's all encompassing. Like, so honest <sighs> and funny. Those are very specific type of things. And what else? And and he has to be willing to like understand and, that. And 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 you are a person with you don't have. I won't put this in there, but you don't have the most amount of sexual experience. Yeah. Like you're like so a man who is funny and is honest and has got a lot going about him would have had sex by the time you meet. Okay, him. Yeah? that's okay and, with me. Okay, fine. And then he might get to a point where he's ready to do it and you're not, and you're asking him to be patient. And then and this is where it comes into it. You might have to let a man do his thing while he's waiting for you. You might. You you might. You might, Zaynab. So this is what I'm saying. Like, it, 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 you have to, like, think about what, it, and 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 not equate everything and not take everything so personally. Do you understand? That's what it is. Like you, like there is gonna come a point where your ideals and your standards are going to change, and that's fine. It doesn't mean that you're less than. It just means that you're growing up. As far as I'm concerned. Anyway, Geneva, we, we'll talk about this off, off camera. Saina, how have you been? Honestly stressed. So why have you been stressed? Just been stressed. Busy. Yeah? J- yeah, just been busy. Work has been going well for me, but very busy. And in, it's been a year since we since we spoke about... since Well, it's been over a year since Corona hit. Mm. And we spoke about how life was going to be different. How's life? Mm. 
hmm, how's life different for me? In the last um, year. I'm still miserable. No, I'm joking. I, do you know what? Life is good for me at the moment because I know what I want in terms of work. You want to... I have plans that I want to okay. do, what um, I want to achieve, and things have been going well. In personal life, there's a few things happening that's not great. Not like like with me, but with like family, close family friends and stuff. So, yeah, that's a bit of a dampener. How about you, How about you Geneva? <laughs> but... Is that what you're gonna? Is that what you're gonna give? Can I be honest now? You guys have put me in such a shit mood. Why? Why? You, I've, you've genuinely put me in a why shit have, mood. Why have I put you in a bad mood? Let's talk about it. This is therapy, as, as the way it says. This is not the shout. This is therapy. Go on. No, you've it's actually put me in a proper why have I put, why have I put shit in a, mood. Why have I put you in a shit mood? Because because when I said I don't want feelings, I just want this. You said now that's not what you wanted to do. But when I said, I told you I was happy if someone, we just hung out and he went and did his thing with other people. I told you I'd be more than happy to do I that. I said I didn't think you'd be able to do it. But if I'm telling you I would be happy then, to do that. Then that's fine. <laughs> just, just because I said, just because I said I don't think you'd be able to do it doesn't mean that you couldn't do it, Zayna. But so, I want to find you... someone who will do it with me. <laughs> And they're not finding them on Hinge or Tinder or anything. What? That will go well, I don't understand. I don't understand. No, don't you dare. Say that one more That's time. What you just said. Say that one more time. <laughs> you want to find someone who will chill with you but can do their thing. Yeah, like I don't want feelings. I've decided I don't think feelings is Wait, for me. Wait, okay. You know? so, so you're not saying. Not right now, not right you're now. You're saying you'd be okay with seeing a guy and he does his thing. Yeah. I don't think... How, so tell me what's the point of... <laughs> I don't think... No, because, you, you because I'm, I'm seeing him. Because, because I'm Lisa. seeing him. No, no, see it's not a relationship. Lisa. So it's okay. It's not a relationship. So you can... He's one of my teams. So you're saying... He's one of my teams. So you're saying you can do it, but yeah. just it's, it's, as long as it's not a title. Yeah. These lot are... These no, are I didn't say that. See what I'm saying about these guys? That's what I'm saying about these lot. No, no, listen to me. They just... Is this thing or No, but I'm just saying like... So in, so you go you guys were talking you guys were looking at me like I was the craziest person because in the world. you were no, saying I, about relationships but, but, and monogamy. But, Zayna, but what you've proven. But I've said that I don't want I that so I've said. What would be said, different? If you get a title? What would be different? If you can accept it when there's no title, why do you think? What would be different? What would be different? What would be different? What would be different? Like so you if if you are going to give anyone a certain amount of time, it's because you like them. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, you'll yeah, be. Yeah, but also Zayna, you would selfish. Zayna. It's selfishly. Zayna, you 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 could compartment. You're talking about compartmentalizing. You're talking about the decomp- You're saying that he it's okay. He can do his thing as long as when he comes he comes home, he does what he does. No, no, no I, I'm not home. She's not talking. I'm not home. home. She's just saying company. Company. Yeah. Okay, but what I'm saying is, you you have found it. You found a space in your brain where that is okay and it makes sense to you. Is what I'm saying. When yeah, before you guys were talking like I was talking in because in, in you were Swahili. talking, <laughs> you were talking <laughs> yeah, you get me about relationships. Indeed. Oh and I told you, gosh. I believe relationships Semantics. should be monogamous. But okay. I, anyway, continue with your point. I didn't mean to. He's you. going to be one of my things. Okay, right. Continue. So, so, what? so, how have we put you in a bad mood? Other people have yeah. things. Why can't I have things? Why? Why? Because okay. the way you're saying things, first of all. First of all, okay, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you feeling better now? You've got that off your chest. Feeling better no. about what? Say no. No, is she feeling better? Yeah, are you now? feeling better now? <laughs> that 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 I've made you feel pissed off. Go. On. No, and it's just that I just feel like. I just feel like it's very hard. She it's knows. a very hard time for love these days. But do you know what? I don't think you I don't think... fold to society's pressures. Like, yeah, but if Geneva... That, if, you, if that's not who you are and you obviously come yeah. from a place where... Exactly. Deep down, who you are, you believe. Remember, like, I'm not being funny yet, but you can manifest the life you want. So if that's the life, mm. if that's the vision you have for you, there's no problem with setting that as your boundary and no one can tell you differently and you shouldn't feel away by conversations that are being had to... To, to yeah. lessen your view or to shrink yourself, if that makes sense. If that's not for you, like if people but are proposing to Geneva, that's not for you, Geneva, don't get involved. Geneva, be honest with her though. There might come a time in her life where she's gonna have to sell. No, but let her discover that 
herself. No, but like, but we have to be honest don't with her. Kill her bubble. I'm not killing her bubble, okay. but I'm saying that there because might come to a point in her life where she's no, but it's you true. Have to take that path of self discovery, like you. I agree, you but you can't miss out that bit though. Into bare relationships before you went and peaked. Now what you're doing now? Do you know what I mean? I haven't peaked. And, well, or for you to be comfortable with what <laughs> yeah, you're doing yeah, yeah. now. So she has so to find she her... Has to, she has to go through it and grow through you're it. you're saying, like, oh, like... Oh, I've, I've been through say, enough. Yeah. No, Jay, but you I'm already know. Don't, don't one time with, and I'm done. With that, Zayna, you haven't been through anything. No, but it's not... I promise it's you, not, you haven't. I, it's Zayna, not for I me. I promise you. I understand. It's not for me. I'm saying, if that is your... If that is your the worst possible thing that can happen to you, what, what, that thing... No, it's 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 not yo, the worst possible thing. I 100% okay. it's not. So, I, I, it's not dramatic or anything like that, but it's... I've It's just... It's just not... It's just not for me. It's just not for me. So how about... You didn't say... How about this? How about... Also, yeah, I also because I've realised men are never going to be honest. That's the thing. Say not. Say not. No, 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 no. Say not. Say not. Listen, Jay. hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Say not. Say not. Wait. Say not. Wait. Say not. Wait. Wait. No. Please. Everyone just. Everyone just relax. Everyone just calm down. No, my honestly. Say not. No. Look at stop. Now, stop. When I look at a man now, I see disgust. Can I say something? Just, just give me a sec. When I was just talking about being honest. You, mm. you 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 actually physically tried to tear me shred from sh- like into shreds. Yeah, because you're so being you're honest to of... benefit yourself. No, I'm being honest to benefit. The because I'm because it well. benefits you because you get what no, you want. No, but I might not get what, what I want if she walks away. It's but the benefit is for her to the benefit is for her to make a decision on what she wants to do. You smell me. You figure deal me. So what I'm saying is that it's not about my just for my benefit. If it was for my benefit, I wouldn't say anything. We'll keep it a secret. So I can have my both. I can have my cake and eat it. But how can it be a benefit if I'm what I'm saying could spell the end of the situation? So it's not. So what the point is, how you're saying men are not going to be honest. I've just pr- I've shown you that men can be honest. It just you just might not like the honesty. So you you I think it's it's the notion that you might have to settle, that's probably getting to you. And you've probably never in your life ever thought that you would have to settle. And you might not have to, but you might have to as well. If, if the life you want is, is, is what you're looking for. You might, it's just the truth. You might have to. Can you truly really be happy if you decide to settle? That's a good question. That's a, that's that's a good question. question. That's a good question. Can you what? Truly be happy if you decide to settle? I guess the decision it to depends. settle is yours. So you've decided, okay, do you know what? Let me lower this or let me change this. Yeah. So it's your decision. Are women better at settling than men? Are you guys better at settling of than men? Of course we are. Okay. So, so you guys can be truly happy with. I think, I think women settle I think all the time. Settle. I think women settle way more than men do. Yeah. Way I'm, more. Way more. I because think women accept more. You than settle men more. Do. You yeah, settle more. Yeah, but out of acceptance. You settle more. Yeah, but out of acceptance. Zayna, that doesn't change the fact that you settle. Whether it's acceptance or the, you settle more. But that's, let's that's specify it's out of acceptance. You do settle more. You guys, you, why do you think women settle more? And why do you think women are better at settling than men? Tell me why, and I'll tell you why, why relationships benefit you guys more. Oh. <laughs> why do women, why, is it true that women, would you say, they're, they're more willing to settle? Why is that so? You guys are women. Tell me. Because I think that when they weigh up the balance of things, they may have thought that all these things, their list of things, were important. And when they face the reality of this, they realise that actually they their view was too, like, tunnel vision. Because so they like, can see I the bigger picture. I needed a man with a dog. I needed a man who lived here. I needed a man who did this, like a prescription of stuff. Mm-hmm. And when, let's say, they fill 90% of the list, but the 10% is not there, they're like, well, I've got 90. It's not so bad. I might just settle. As you get older, that becomes and that, 65. Yeah, exactly. 30. Exactly. Or, as yeah, you face life, you. it I'm might you. just be, you might not even get, you might not even age. You might just go through a lot of stuff and then realise. And I think also, yeah, you might realise that you've met the person that w- that is perfect for you earlier in your life, but you may have had your tick box of things. 
and said, but this person doesn't do that. Mm. And maybe we place too much value or it's materialistic or our view is <laughs> obscured. And then you come back full circle and you're like, this was the person that I was looking for. Yeah, we don't That's have, happened to me. Yeah, we don't have that process though. We're just like... Uh, we, it we, we, it, 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 <laughs> it, I feel like it really and genuinely, men, men act very differently when they have to settle. If a man has to settle, I feel like we act very differently. Like you can see it or you can feel it. Oh, it's, it's so evident in our actions because we don't ever feel like we have to. Sometimes we do. And we understand that it's probably better some, in some situations if we do, but we're never, I don't think men are ever truly but I think there's happy a, when they settle. There's a lot of men is. who settle without realizing that they're settling. Yeah. Yeah, because of comfort and comfortability and all of that. Like, you, but genuinely, I think there's a lot of men who are settling who don't realize that they're settling. Yeah, I think they're whereas right. women will realize that this is what they're and, doing. And adapt. Men won't realize because if men think, "Oh, but I'm women, settling," that's when they do it. But men settle more than women, I would say. Without, but they just don't realize. Men settle more than women. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. No. Actually, now that I've deeped it, I actually think so. Do you, do I you think agree men settle out of com- comfort. So what do women settle for? You just explain. No, no, like, like, okay, oh, let me think Exactly. About this. A, a, <laughs> let me think about this. A woman will no, settle Geneva, for... Geneva, don't look at me like that. A woman, a, a woman will get to a stage where they'll settle for a man who just wants to get married. But do you know what I think it is? Doesn't matter what else he's got going on for him. It all comes down to this whole idea and facade of your, your clock's ticking. Sorry, it's not a facade, it's reality. Okay, for women. <laughs> like, some women. You're saying it's a facade. It's not a facade. It's the truth. <laughs> for some women, if they place value on starting a yes, family. Yes. Yes. You know okay. What yeah. I mean? That's a bit more specific. Some women are happy mm. to never have children. Yeah. Yeah. To never settle into a yes, relationship. Yes. 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 And be a lone wolf or be that woman with cats or whatever floats their boat. Do you know what I mean? Or be the woman that, um, what's it called? Goes out and. Was that thing good? <laughs> um, you know, like when you mingle and stuff, like, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, okay, um, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, some, for some people, mm. they might just choose that that's not them. Do you know what I mean? So it just, it's just, it's just that idea, isn't it? It's just a concept. Depends what, what you place value on. But I still stand by what I said, that men settle. <laughs> Because okay, men right. settle. Why because do you, uh, why do you think men settle? So I'm why do you just think? Just about to explain. So, sorry. I literally was saying when men settle because you said why do you think? That's oh, why I didn't. I didn't. I, I cut. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Men <laughs> settle because they realize mm, it's not the best, but it's and what, good enough. And why do you think that is? Because it's easy for them. And why? Because do they you... don't have to go through change. They don't have to be vulnerable. They don't have to be honest and say this isn't perfect. They, then you know. Like we discussed before. I think I have settled first. No, I think men settle because we think that's what we're supposed to do. You guys, oh, are, you guys are all, you guys are all. Thinking. We settle. I said this. I keep saying this. We settle because we think. Okay, case on point, Zay. The situation I was in, yeah, back then, right? We weren't talking about, yeah. I thought if I didn't have, if I didn't overstand certain things, I would have settled for that situation. But because I was very in tune with myself and my feelings, I knew what it was like to settle, because I've done it before, I did. If, I didn't, if I'd never settled before, I probably would have got in that situation and then been, felt trapped. The point is, is that a lot of men, I think, not all, a lot of men settle because society tells them that you find this, you find this, you find this, you sit down, you keep yourself quiet. When innately, that's not what they want to do. Some men, they... They, they do. They, for them, settling down is fine. They, as long as they got a woman thing. But for other men, they will do it because of the society and because of what their family expects of them. But innately, they don't want to. So they settle instead of being honest. Yes. Okay. That's, so, so, that's but, what, but, we're but what I'm saying, this, it, it's again, it circles back to what I said a couple of episodes ago. Is that why is it that because being honest, like I was honest with, I know you guys. I've known you guys for years. Yeah, and I was honest, and you guys. Dish, dish, dish. No, you're this, you're that, you're blah, 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 blah. Like, you guys looked at me like I was speaking a different language because I was actually honest. Because the honesty doesn't... The honesty is away from what we are used to. But, but we, we're also we, talking about honesty within yourself. You're not we, honest to yeah. yourself. Yeah, no, but, no, no, but being, no, no, but being honest to ourselves means that, okay, I might not be... I might not want a relationship. 
But because my mum and dad been together for X amount of time, because my cousins and my friends are all in relationships, I, it's just... Yeah. Yeah? So, like... But it, it, you don't want to be the odd one out because in society, being in a relationship is very much... Okay, but thing. this is the 21st century. If we're so worried about society, there would be so many things different with our lives. You'd be scared to walk out the street because you're a black man. Who says I'm not scared to walk out the street as a black man? Oh. <laughs> Are you are you okay? No. What Come on, Jay. What are you talking about? Come on, Jay. No. You know that's not what okay, I Okay, no, no. Okay, in America, I would be scared to walk the streets as a black man. Okay, but... So, so, okay, don't pick it. one thing of my otherwise you great points. You pick the worst okay? possible. <laughs> like... <laughs> don't pick one thing of my otherwise excellent <laughs> no, points, it's okay? It's okay at best. Okay, so I would scare to be on camera because I'm not skinny. If that if that's what we were talking about, but I actually forgot my main point. What yeah, was what was your main point? What was I it? forgot. What was it? It, was, anyway, it would have anyway. been perfect, but yeah, yeah. I can't remember it. Anyway, well, genuinely, I don't remember the last two minutes of the conversation. Because your head's gone. No, my head's not gone. <laughs> from the from thing. No, my, no, no. I think I honestly think yeah, like you you saying, oh, you you piss me off, blah blah blah. It's because I think sometimes when you have to live outside of Disneyland. It, okay, it first can of all, become... don't call it Disneyland. No, no, okay, sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was really terrible, sorry. When you when you have to live outside of what you are used to or what, what society tells you is acceptable, then it can become a very scary place. Like, I thought I was going to have kids by 25. What made me think I was ready for kids at 25? Me at 25, with children, with Pitney, yeah? Like, I thought that I was going to... Okay, I thought oh, I'll get to 30 and then, like, da da and it's like, and that's just because of X, Y, Z. Like, sometimes when we have to pop that bubble and live on the outside of, of what we thought was a thing, because like, there's a lot of people out here say, I thought I'd be married by now, I thought I'd be... But why did you think that? What in your life said that you were going to be married by the time you are 26? Mm. What in your life suggested that? Mm. What, because you had a relationship? Or because you, because you bring X, Y, Z to the table, or because you look a certain way? That's not how the world works. So I think that's all that's happening maybe, if I can be a therapist for a second to you, is that maybe it's the realisation that it may not be as simple as you once thought it would be. And as you're getting older, you're realising that. Yeah. As you're getting older and as you're getting, you know, you're seeing the world for what it is, it's a cold, dark place, you're realising that actually it might not be as simple. I might have to accept certain things. And, to, to and you never thought you'd have to do I that. I think that women should start to move away from these ideals. I think so as well, Geneva. Because I think they'll just be the downfall. Yes. And Personally. Instagram's the devil and, and social media's the Personally. devil. Personally. Because everyone, yeah, everyone, everyone honestly really thought that Quavo and my girl had the most perfect relationship no. and they were relationship goals. Mm. And, and Cardi B. No. Not Quavo. No, no, you're talking Quavo. about Offset. I'm talking about oh, Quavo. Quavo. Saweetie. Oh, Saweetie. Yeah. 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 And, and everyone thought yeah, that they yeah, had the yeah, most perfect yeah, relationship yeah. because of what Instagram... I don't, I don't want to make it too much about them, mm. yeah? But I'm just saying that, like, social media has compounded this need, this innate need to have the perfect relationship and to have, like, to be settled down and have bay and go on vacations and blah, 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 blah. Like everybody's life is different. Not everyone's life is going to play out that same way. It doesn't mean you're not going to have a, a good, healthy relationship, but fulfilling what you are fulfilling, a fulfilling or rewarding life, exactly. It just means that everything that you have in your head, you can still achieve, but then also you might have to make certain concessions. And that's not an easy thing to do. Yeah. But as time goes on, that's what has to happen. That's what happens. No, I've seen it happen so many times. I agree. I had this Do you know what it is? I feel like I don't have that same mentality about life that I did when I was 24, 25. I know that things aren't the fairy tale. Th I know that mm. things aren't as easy as you seem. And even I have things that I want to achieve in my life before, you know, I settle down and I have kids. There are a lot of things that I want to do. But I still have... I keep saying this word, but fundamentally... Mm. I do still think that I will get what I want, mm. but it's obviously not going to be in the same way that I had envisioned my life. You know, I, you know, when I was younger, you know, obviously you had that, you know, oh yeah, there's going to be Prince Charming, this, you're going to get swept off a horse, da-da-da. Ain't nobody, you know, nobody, no men ride on horses these days. 
Okay? Chivalry is not so alive. Yeah, I, I disagree. But carry on. Not a lot. Or it would have to be for, like, if a man has seen the perfect woman, then he will be the best gentleman ever, in his opinion. In, in like, in his, like, his opinion of the perfect woman. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's not really... I feel like everyone sort of accepted that... Okay, yeah, they th you might think that people think, oh, yeah, we should be in relationships. As you say, you know, it's part of the pressures of society or whatever. But I don't genuinely think that people think like that, Jay. You don't think people think what? that? I don't think a lot of people are so pressured. I think now it is more acceptable to just do your things, to just, you know, have whatever than it is. Or more, more... For women. As well. No, for men and women, like it, for men especially. Well, not for women. It's not more. Women. It's it's, it's more, more accepted. It's not more. It's not. It's not more. More expected. accepted and more of it is happening. Yes. So is there is this whole thing about go and get your own? Do you don't need a man? You don't blah blah blah. But what I'm saying ultimately, like that narrative is pushed by lonely people, or people who do, who who can't get that, can't get any man they want. But what I'm saying is that ultimately, you speak to any woman, especially in the West, in Western civilization. I keep talking about that, but it's true. Ultimately, what they want, most of, a lot of them, there's a lot of them who are like, like Geneva said, they don't want a relationship or they don't want a man or they don't want kids. They just want to just, they're happy by themselves. But those women are, are very much in a minority, obviously. So most people, I, I, ideals, will tell you, yeah, I'll have my fun. I want to do all this, but eventually I want to settle down. So it is, a lot, at the end of it, that is the goal. For a lot of women, they, they, their life hasn't been successful if they are not married and have kids. Mm, yeah, they, could, they equate it to success. 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 But I don't see that way, but I still want to get married and have kids. You don't see, you don't, you don't, you, would you feel your life is a failure if you get to 60 and you don't have kids and you're not married? 60? Yes. If I don't have kids. You see your life as a failure. So this is what I'm trying to say. You think, I mean, I would love to have you'll kids. You'll feel like you've succeeded in life if you have kids and you're married. But that's an aspect of my life that I would want yeah. that I would have failed in because I didn't get because I would love to have my own kids mm -hmm. I would love to be a mom mm. but you could have but okay so but say, if I get to but but if you, on, you could a, have on achieved, a level Jay okay, on a I'm level saying, if I get to if, god forbid <laughs> if I get to 40 <laughs> <laughs> if I get to 40 and I have no kids I am adopting okay no no okay alright so what I'm saying is or that, you know if if, if, if what's if, that thing called Going to the sperm bank. Okay, uh, IVF. IVF. Yeah. Okay, I think that. Don't look at me. You could have discussed. Oh, can I say something? Can I say? Can I say <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, all right. So you would have feel. Dwayne's gonna book his baptism now that he's heard today. So if then you, you have tigs. <laughs> if um you, so you would have felt you would you won't feel like you have failed in life. You would have feel that you you have failed. You would feel you would feel like you have failed in an aspect of your life. Yeah, that I didn't achieve something that I what okay. I want to. So you, you wouldn't look back. So you wouldn't look back on it on your life holistically and say I've been I've had an unsuccessful life. No. Because there's a lot of other things that you could have achieved. Because exactly. up, even up to this point in your life, you've achieved a lot by virtue of the fact that you're a teacher. I have so achieved things, a lot. Yeah. So, but what I'm saying that's fine. But what I'm saying there are people and and I understand it, but. Your life isn't predicated on just the relationship that you have or just the fact that you have children. Your life, your, your, your life, like obviously it's, a, it's an important aspect of life to forge relationships and to have families and stuff like that. But your life, there are plenty of people who have been successful and affect the world positively and don't have those things. I'm not saying they don't want them, but it's just, it comes down to just your mentality and how you see things. Like, and also as well, like, Again, I'm not saying that, like, you know, you shouldn't strive for those things, but the world very much and society very much tells you, especially as women, that if you don't achieve those things, that you are a failure or that you or, or that you haven't achieved, especially if you equate it to religion as a Christian. I know uh, maybe I don't know enough about Islam to say, but maybe it's the same with Islam and other other religions. Like if as a woman, you're not married by a certain age, oh, yeah, they say, wait, wait, what's wrong with you? Well, there must be something wrong with you. So this is what but, and that's obviously not fair. Like, that's not the case. Yeah, of course. So that's where a lot of the societal pressure comes from. And that's why it's like, it's seen that if by a certain age you haven't achieved certain things, you, you, you know. And I know as men, we don't necessarily have those same societal pressures. 
Like, we don't. There's no pressure on us. There's no pressure on us to be in a relationship. There's no pressure on us. We put, if there's any pressure, it's put on, we put on ourselves. So he's heavily flawed. Yeah. So this is, it's an interesting one. When reality hits, you realise that things are not as romantic as it is, things are portrayed. Mm. Yeah. Think, and that can be, that can be tough. I think it's Hollywood. Sold everybody some misconception of life. You meet a guy, you like a guy, you make love, you live happily ever after. Like... You forgot the married part. <laughs> <laughs> Can you well, let's not forget that. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know, I know. Uh, uh, there's still time, like, you're, you're, you're... I know, I, and I know, and I'm not saying that, you know, oh, I'm just going to go tomorrow and the first guy I see, that's it, I'm just, you know, we're having sex and not, we're moving on. <coughs> it's not, that's not, that's not what I'm feeling or what I'm, you know, going to do or anything like that. But I just think, I just think it's a bit sad. I don't think, I, that I mean... this is... That people feel like they have to settle because expecta their expectations are too high. And what are you expecting? Honesty. How is being honest I don't think such I, a that's, such that's a different high... though. I don't think when people say expectations, I don't think it's just I don't think it's just based on personal qualities like honesty. I think when people settle, it, it, you should never settle for someone who's not honest. You're talking about people settling for okay, the guy might not have a well paid job. Or the guy might have a child. Mm. Or the guy might not be as tall as I want. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, yeah. there's certain things you can't compromise. You can't comp yeah. you can't get in, in, in a monogamous relationship with someone who's not honest. Or any kind of relationship with someone who's not honest. You can you can do your thing with them, but you can't be in a relationship with them. Yeah? <laughs> you get me? So, like... <laughs> what, Noted. Noted. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's... So what I'm saying is that when you settle... When I say settle, I don't mean settle for bad human qualities. I mean, you might have to settle for the guy not being Jamaican or Caribbean. Oh, I, I've passed Yeah, that. okay, <laughs> right. Or you might settle for the guy being the same I height as you. I realise that now. Or you might have to, and, and I think that's where a lot of, of, lot of women don't want to, they don't want to concede it or they concede it too late. They get mm -hmm. to their late 30s when they realise that actually I might not be the most appealing person in the world anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if, for certain reasons. So I might have to, the, the guy who I said is too small, he's looking all right now. The guy who's over there who's got two kids and is a single dad, he's looking all right now. The guy who's over there, he's a, he's a cleaner, he's looking he's looking appealing now. The guy who I rejected yeah. when I was 25 because the world was my oyster, he's looking all right now. 